everyone and welcome back to Carefree Caravanning. You join us today, it's a beautiful day, a bit chilly. A bit breezy. A bit breezy. <laughs> now, we just wanted to say that at the current time, because of the COVID pandemic, there are a lot of people who are considering joining our community, whether it be caravanning, motorhoming, campervanning, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And we recently met up with a few friends um, Two of them have a caravan and two of them have yep. a motorhome. That's Kath and Stu. And, and Nick and Nick Karen. And, Nick and Karen, yeah. And we just had a chat with them to hear their perspective yeah. of their experiences. And just to share it with you, if you are considering doing this yeah. and, and, you know, just, just their take on it to see if it would help you. Yeah, absolutely. So without further ado, let's uh, nip over to uh, the video. Yeah. And action. <laughs> Here comes the clapperboard. <laughs> okay, so let's introduce you. We've got Kathy, we've got Stu, oh. and we've got Nick, Nick, and we've got Karen. <laughs> so, Kathy and Stu, what is it, uh, this caravan that we're sitting in? This is yours. It's a Buccaneer Cruiser 2019, twin axle. How long have you had it? Uh, nearly two years. Okay, and yeah, September 2019. And is it your yeah. first caravan, or have second, you had car second caravan? Second caravan. We had a Swift before that. Okay. Swift Challenger. Right, yeah. and you enjoy the caravanning lifestyle? Love it. Yeah. yeah. Love Absolutely it. love it. Absolutely, Absolutely love it. Yeah. Okay, so we go over to Mike. Mike? Did I say Mike? I had to say that. <laughs> Nick Sorry. and Karen. We always do this. We keep yeah. calling him Mike and it's not, it's Nick. So Nick and Karen. So yeah, you, your motorhome, what is it you've got? Yeah, we've got our um, auto sleeper. Yeah. Um, which is on a Mercedes chassis and cab. Um, 2015. Bought it second hand. Right. Um, had it since September. Okay, so is this your second motorhome? No, this is the first time we've ever done motorhoming. So we've had car caravans previous to that. Oh, you have your caravan? Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. So oh, we've had, had, um, had four caravans. Yeah, five started in 2011 um, with a little. 1500 pound Abbey yeah. and then progressively um, went up the, the yeah. ladder to, to a nice decent eight foot wide caravan right and then I suffered quite a bad back problem for a few years um, which inevitably uh, has given me sort of <coughs> problems with quite a few things especially sort of the heavy lifting of stuff you know yeah. around the caravan that you need to do yeah um, and Karen would have dro always used to drive the narrower caravan uh, that we had prior, but when we bought the eight foot, it was just sat, sat, sat yeah. behind the wheel. Mm. Oh, and yeah. you would have got stressed yeah. with me driving. Yeah, and she she uh, she said, "No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna no. tow that one." So Brilliant. then we made the call. Brilliant to yeah. change to a, a motorhome. Excellent. Five years too early, but it's yeah. all we had to do. Yeah. Time. Yeah. For people who are watching this who are new to caravanning or motorhoming and maybe just thinking about it, what what would you say the benefits are collectively um, of the caravanning motorhoming sort of community? I mean, what what is it about it that you like or love so much? I think we all have our own personal reasons, but for me especially, it's the freedom it gives you. So there are so many beautiful sites in this country. We have a dog. We can't take it abroad. No. We can't take it to a lot of hotels. We can get up when we want. We can eat what we want. We have all the mod cons now in these caravans these days. They're so advanced to what they were years ago. Yeah. And there's so many beautiful sites all over the country. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we have the freedom. Mm. So that, that for me is the, the, the biggest I guess the biggest selling point about caravanning. Yeah. Um, and you can do things on a budget as well. Don't have to be expensive. No, absolutely. So, uh, you know, we started eight years ago <coughs> and we've never looked back. I had a lot of reservations about. Were you, so before that, what were you were doing international? Well, like we were going Mediterranean abroad or abroad every time. year, a yeah. um, couple of times a year. Uh, we'd go up and stay with relatives in Scotland. Um, but yeah, we, we were going abroad every year. And actually, reflecting on it, yes, it was nice, but 
no more queuing in airports, no more waiting around, no more delays. The expense as well, um, again, some of the destinations that we've been to abroad have been nowhere near as nice as the places no. in this country. Yeah. And it, not until you actually start exploring or, or you're considering going, doing carrying a van, you, you, you wouldn't know what's on your doorstep, really, Absolutely. truthfully. No, I fully agree. So yeah. what actually made you start caravanning uh, as opposed to going abroad? So Stuart, Stuart was influenced by, by Nick. Nick. <laughs> oh, okay. So you actually know each other. We do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah right. Do. So how, how do you know each other? Well, Nick's a builder. Okay. And I'm a roofer. Right. And I was we were working on a project one year. Doing a doing a new new build. New build. Right? That yeah. was it. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Nick said about he's got a caravan. And I, I, and I went, hmm, that sounds interesting. I brought that by calf. Yeah. And I was, oh my gosh, no. The no. cab was like, hang on a minute, let me try and digest this. You want to get a yeah. caravan? I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, it took a lot of convincing. Mm -hmm. um, what was it that put you off the idea? I don't know. I think I've kind of had a kind of, you know, you, you see these carry on camping films. That's how naive I was. Mm. Yeah. I think everyone has that in their head, though, don't they? You know, Where's Barbara Windsor? I have not seen know, her. God bless her. not around everyone today. Everyone thinks it's Manifield, you know, yeah. and yeah. just. And yeah, you know, it's like, oh, Camera's yeah. exactly the same. Yeah. yeah. Exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. Really. Yeah. really. It's just not like that. No. Yeah. No. I don't see the point of it. No. Just didn't want to do it, did you? No. That's why we bought a really, really cheap basic caravan yeah mm. because just in case it had the answer was after our first visit it's to really somewhere stopped. the answer was going to be no i don't enjoy yeah. it but no oh, i loved it like these guys were saying first don't, ever thoroughly enjoyed it. Mm. yeah so what, what about you karen i mean what would you say to people watching this who are thinking well i don't know about caravan never done it before it's got a bad stigma i mean would you give them any uh, your advice whether it's not just i think I say you just got to give it a go and and try it we did it uh, we bought a really cheap old caravan it had everything in it so we didn't have to buy anything it was safe um and it was the best thing that we ever did um you say i really wasn't happy about yeah. it but thought we'd give it a go we had the kids were younger they thoroughly loved it um yeah and it was the best thing we ever did yeah. um, don't you think it's it. wonderful sorry to interrupt but don't you think it's wonderful with children oh, yes. that they've got the freedom mm. to actually play Sam outdoors run around and made yeah. so many friends you know at the end of the weekend the tears we had that she wasn't ever going to see her new best friend ever ever <laughs> again you know that was the downside <laughs> yeah. leaving but going they could go off it was yeah. safe it was it's wonderful we never had that before you know abroad you're always worried uh, you know you've got to have eyes in the back of your head where this they had the freedom like what we had mm. well right, yeah. many years ago <laughs> um to um go down the street go on a long bike ride no mobile phones you know the campsites are really really safe so, um so yeah brilliant they're off our hands now so we're now adult only Mostly sides. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so only that, it's us. Yeah. We've made so many friends yeah. as well. Yeah. We yeah. have. You guys even. We, yeah. you guys, I mean, right? we, we were yeah. fortunate enough to meet you um, last time, <laughs> um, and then we came here and we didn't know. But then you turned up and oh, that's a bad penny, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but, but in fairness, I mean, we had a great, great evening yesterday, last oh, night. Oh, fantastic! Brilliant. We had so much fun, and I think for me, uh, uh, certainly for me and for Shell, you know, caravanning is about just getting out into the outdoors and just yeah. having fun. Mm. Like last night impromptu mm -hmm. few games yeah. i think there may be a, the odd drop of wine going i don't, I don't, I don't know if anyone was drinking no, no, absolutely but it's just wasn't about wasn't having it. a little bit of outdoor fun and getting out there and we were blessed a little bit with the weather um so that that's just it's just yeah. a great great and there's a lovely community and isn't we've it? now got friends that we made several years ago who we meet up with every, every single year. year yeah yeah really there's a there's a From whole group Manchester. of people Wow. What's that site again? Oh, don't, <laughs> <laughs> don't start that all night. We won't mention the site. We won't mention the site. <laughs> There's a particular site in Cornwall that yeah. Kathy and Stu yeah. highly recommend. Highly, highly recommend. Um, at a couple of sites, actually, all, all of us meet up. In fact, we're going to another site in a few weeks' time. Yeah. So there'll be another couple that we met up with three or four years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, from Man uh, from Rochdale. Rochdale. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, new friends, new good friends. We're yeah. the same 
same common interests really. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so I mean a really common question for um, many people who are maybe thinking about getting into this, um, what's the word? Leisure pursuit. Uh, leisure pursuit um, is do we buy a caravan, do we buy a motorhome? Now there's been quite a few people who've covered this and you know if they, they may be a caravaner talking about their caravan and saying yes but a motorhome doesn't do this but they don't really necessarily know so what we wanted to do is talk to you as you've got the motorhome and you've obviously got the caravan we just wanted to get some sort of feedback from your opinions of why you think your specific outfit is either better or um, people should go for that rather than the other so where should we start which side of the ball we're we starting on Come on then, we'll start with Stu. Well, so well, start with caravan. Ca caravan, you, you pull up at a site, you've got your car. Yeah. That's the, the advantage of the caravan. Yeah. Motorhome, the disadvantage mm. of the motorhome, you haven't got a car with you. Yeah, yeah. unless, that, unless you tow it. That could cause a problem. Mm. You know, so then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but in fairness, and I, I'm sure you've probably got this up your sleeve already, um, with the motorhome, you can get. An A-frame, which then yeah. tows the car behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, it's, it's an option to have an A-frame. Mm. But having said that, you know, you can, if you just pick and choose sites. That's Some sites are quite close to, to towns or villages, yeah. so you, have you to don't plan necessarily. A bit yeah, you don't necessarily <coughs> have to have a car. It is a bonus because mm -hmm. if you want to do anything a bit further adrift, you know, it's it's great. But if you plan your your journey and where you're going and what you want to do. Mm -hmm ideal yeah. um, and plus as, as well I mean the main thing I think with a motorhome is that you can just keep traveling mm. yeah yeah there's nothing I th you know your world's your oyster you know it's it's I mean, not you don't have to go doing. there and then stay there yeah you, know, you, can you are planning to get an A-frame for another yeah. tow car though, aren't yeah. you? Yes. Yeah. 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 Is that because you've experienced problems like... No, go we're going to go touring for about a month around Wales, so yeah, we will year. need to explore lots of areas. We yeah. can't do that with yeah. the motorhome, so we will be getting put in <coughs> C1 on the back yeah. um, for trips like that. But, you know, when we go down to Cornwall, um, we might hire a car for a week if needed yeah um because that's going to be the first test when we go away for yeah. three weeks yeah. um then we'll really see how unstuck we are yeah but then we've got stuart as well so yeah we've got we our solo yeah. taxi so service can, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and our son's going so exactly oh. so yeah. there's, there's vehicles there we've yeah. got vehicles but yeah, yeah but problem. we will you yeah, know when we do scotland <coughs> and when we go abroad and everything we will mm -hmm. i think because I, I mean we i'm fascinated by motorhomes mm. we always when we're, we're up in Scotland, in Perth, there's a great big... Um, well, Perth's a caravan. Caravan yeah, site. Massive, massive uh, And, dish, and yeah. I'm fascinated by the motorhomes. Because I think when we retire, what we want to do is possibly do a lot of a touring, like mm. Mm. Nick and, Car yeah. and Karen. Yeah. And they are the ideal vehicle. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, but would, for us right now... If you're, yeah. if you're doing yeah. Europe, Spain, France, you know, travel, touring, ideal yeah. yeah I think I think if you're maybe away for a week or ten days and you're gonna do mm. two nights here one day there yeah. one day there, that wouldn't maybe that, that probably wouldn't work in a caravan no, because no, no. unhitching leveling yeah setting you up whereby with a mm. motorhome you can mm. just literally arrive yeah. on site yeah. uh, I know yours has got self leveling push the button and yeah. it levels so it's yeah. happy days isn't but it? Then, so but then Stuart's caravan yeah. mm -hmm. also got self leveling. Yeah but there's yeah. still a lot more to yeah, it. You, could, you couldn't yeah. say well okay we're going yeah. to spend a night here. Because I mm -hmm. like to set up and set up you know awning yeah. out or yeah. uh, you know everything done and then that's our set yeah. 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 for the duration of our yeah. stay. Yeah. Um, and if it's like one night or two night, we can't, we don't bother, do we? We're, if it's one or two, two nights, we don't, we don't bother don't, putting just, anything out. No. No. But if we're going anywhere for any length of time, <coughs> yeah, mm. you know, it's everything. So do you think later in life you will then look at motorhome? Seriously mm. consider it, mm -hmm. yeah. but not for us right now. No. No. If Nick didn't have a bad back, we would still be in our brand new yeah. caravan. Yeah. Yeah. It's only a year old and we had to sell it, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, we'd still be doing it for another five years mm. and then gone down yeah. the route of mm. yeah. um, and, home. And the originally, when Stuart said that he was going to do something with a caravan, he originally was going to have a motorhome. Mm. 
That was the first oh, one. Really? Yeah. That was his. And you were like, no, no. And then me being a caravanner at the time, I said, what do you want that for? Because I said, you haven't got a car. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and oh, yeah, he kind true. of, you, you did, didn't you? Okay. Yeah. And um, with your motorhome, the one you've got now, is that a similar sort of layout to how your caravan was? Um, we've got more room in the motorhome, uh, more space. It, I thought it was going to be really, really easy to find the right motorhome for us. It was so confusing. Yeah. We looked at so many. Did you? And the ones that we we saw, you know, oh yeah, this is it. And we go and see it and go, oh, no, sorry, bleep. It's not, <laughs> this not what we want. And we were like sold on this particular layout. And then you go and see it and it's like, oh, yeah. no, it doesn't work. No. And it's just not right. So we had, we wanted an end bathroom. Yeah. And then it was like, how many seat belts do you get? And yeah. And then we thought, well, you know, there's only us two. Yeah. yeah. We're not going to have children. <laughs> so, or, you know, um, you know, it's for us. It's a, it's a huge expense. So, actually, no, we're going to do it for us. Yeah. So, we're quite selfish in that. So, it's only two yeah. seat belts. So, it's only us that can yeah. go away. But we looked at this one and we, uh, I kept, you know, ignoring it. And then we did go and look at it and think, ah, oh, this is it. Yeah. After did you look at many before this one? Quite a few different did, layouts. Yeah. And layouts, yeah. yeah. And you yeah. knew yeah. which layout you wanted. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, this, not that, in that's the beginning. Pretty, pretty basic, this one. It, but it's it, easy. Because it, it's, it's got the, you've got to make the beds up every night. Yeah. But you've got, when you've done it, you've got the lovely amount of space you've got. And yeah. you can. And you've still got two chairs at the end. Yeah. So if you wanted to get out of bed, you've still got a chair to sit on. And it's really comfortable living through the I day. Think and it works for you. Yeah. 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 And you've got the two, you can have either the two <coughs> single beds as you know, yeah. singles or, or the doubles. Yeah. yeah. So, so it wasn't, I mean, I mean, but buying the most home, apart from obviously the, you've got the drivers, the driving it and also the cost of it, um, because you've done caravan, it's very similar to caravanning, isn't it? Mm. Um, I mean, if somebody was starting out and they thought we were gonna go and get a motorhome, would you advise that um, trial one maybe, Definitely. hire one or, um, I mean, it's, it's, that's mm. a little bit more, Complicated, isn't it, with caravans? I don't mm. know many places where you can, no, you can. borrow. I've, I've some dealers, hire, hire there are up. some dealers that will actually <coughs> loan you one, um, and it may even be on their um, site. Oh, okay, not I'm many. Try yeah. a not many. But I think a motorhome yeah, would be definitely. great for people who are thinking about it because yeah. the expense is humongous. Yeah. I mean, you're looking at really what twice the price of a caravan. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm fascinated to see just how many motorhomes are about the last place we stayed in last weekend. It was motorhome. Mm. More motorhomes. More motorhomes yeah. than caravans. Were caravans. Mm. And I was shocked. I suppose it was 80 20. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was. It's yeah. the first site I've been on. Yeah. And, I, I and it was 8% motorhomes. And I would probably percent. guess that the reason for that is because given the choice between a caravan or a motorhome, I think caravan in for a lot of people will probably be put off by towing a vehicle towing, yeah. yeah you know pulling something behind you're right where, yeah whereby you can just jump and sit in the seat and you're away and it's not yeah. much more than driving a sort of yeah. small van well, most people on the site of the weekend at buxton they're all retired yeah yeah, yeah so they are probably yeah. Mm, yeah have all that freedom to go yeah. from site to site mm, yeah i personally wouldn't tow this no, no. i would no. never tow a, no. a, this is a big eight um, yeah. 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 Caravan. Yeah. Yeah. But what? I would happily drive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I think it has to be said as well that just going on to the point you were saying about a lot of people retire, a lot of people, there's a lot of youngsters getting into this industry. Mm. Yeah. Getting, there's our, I'm not talking maybe teenagers, but certainly the maybe 30 to 50 year yeah. olds now yeah. getting into mm -hmm. caravans and motorhomes and what have you. Yeah, um, even sort of pre. So I say pre-COVID, there yeah. was still more interest then, mm. but now I reckon there is going to be such a surge of interest. I think there is. Uh, I mean, we've spoken to a couple of dealers that um, we know, and the demand for motorhomes and caravans is through the roof. Yeah, mm. it's absolutely yeah. through the roof. They cannot get enough yeah. of good stock. And the wait list mm. is really long mm. as well. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was someone who was here last time. We were all here. Um, and they bought a, a, I think it was, was a, a, um, a coachman, and they picked it up, and I think this was their first or second trip out, and they'd had a call from the dealer saying, if you want to sell it, we can give you a profit on what you paid for it. Really? Oh, I mean, which is unbelievable, yeah. 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 you know, that you can, uh, 
Mm. But it's so it's such law, isn't it, that if we ever want to sell our caravans, it's like <laughs> wrong time, <Yeah>. wrong, <laughs> wrong time. It's always yeah. the way. I think that, I think the sites are going to be really really popular mm. this year. Yeah. yeah. So have you guys booked up everything booked, for yeah, this year? We're all booked. Yeah. All booked. yeah. Did you yeah. have problems? No, no we book, book, we book way in advance. advance yeah. 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 Oh, right. So like next year's, we'll be booking up. Well, we're starting. Still going to say where it's going next year, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, and our Welsh trip we start booking that out there you go you yeah. have to you have to now yeah, so, yeah. yeah we're, we're booking for 20 so now. so yeah. popular yeah. 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 having said that look, some of the sites won't mm -hmm. take a uh, deposit yet um, but they, they certainly took our name and number and put us in the diary that so when we do call we're there, we're there. yeah yeah mm. and did you you got all your money back for sites that you'd books last year yeah. that were cancelled yeah, or, or parts no, yeah. or no we went no, we haven't. a couple of deposits back mm -hmm. oh really yeah. um i think partly our fault we haven't chased but mm. they're there yeah um we, no we, we were just talking about a lot more people coming into this leisure pursuit yeah. um of caravanning and motorhoming and camper vanning what advice could you give them for caravanning and then mm. for motorhoming, what advice would you give them if they're, if they're just at the stage right now of thinking about buying one? I would, if they were thinking about buying a caravan, buy, possibly buy second hand, um, or go with friends that have and trial. Mm. Don't commit yeah. at this stage because it may not be for them. I, and I think, it, you know, why why waste an awful lot of money mm -hmm. if it's not right? But, and I don't know any statistics, but let's just say the majority of people that I know that have started caravanning have loved it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, teething problems, we all learn by our mistakes, which we, we did. <laughs> yeah. um, That's the only way to learn, yeah. But we, yes, we did make some huge mistakes. Oh. Um, <laughs> but in the main, they will enjoy it and yeah. they will learn to enjoy it even more the more times they're out because yeah, yeah. you know they, it's 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 fantastic yeah. it really and, is and what about uh, Karen and Mike what? <laughs> for, 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 for motorhoming <laughs> I think yeah. I'll help I, I I'm, I'm probably going to find it hard to I think you've got to hire one first yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and see because it is a huge expense and also you know to find out what layout yeah. suits you because you don't want to get it and then go oh yeah. Yeah. oh <laughs> this oh. really doesn't fit yeah. Um, yeah. and also where are you going to keep it I mean we're yeah. lucky we can keep it on our drives and that's another expense and and where um, mm -hmm. you know it's, yeah. um, but I think I think a lot of people um, not only us um, normally start off with caravans yeah. I think yeah. and it seems to be like a progressive route yeah. Yeah. and then Just move into motorhomes and then if you've mm. done that you've got a fairly good idea of everything you need to do I and think what start to buy with the and, best. and layouts and everything yeah. so I think the thing that I would personally I would say would be um, is if you are going to start out be it a caravan or even a motorhome is don't go out if you do buy one don't then go out and spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on mm -hmm. plates and televisions and everything else. Mm -hmm. You can, everything you want, you can really bring from home. Mm -hmm. Try it, see if you like it, <coughs> because otherwise you've wasted your money. Your yeah. um, and then you can, mm -hmm. over time, just buy the kettle, buy your cu uh, cr mm -hmm. crockery and cutlery and TV and what have you. Um, but you don't, there's only a few items you need to buy for a caravan, mm -hmm. Wastemaster and aqua roll and things like that and it's very different though isn't it when it comes to the most homing in, in actual n sort of things you really need yeah mm. yeah because uh, you've yeah. got on board yeah we've got um yeah we've got an on board uh fresh water tank which takes uh like 80 80 liters uh and a waste uh tank which takes the same um yes. also we've got a um on board uh lpg which um we just go and fill up from a petrol station with right um, which is fantastic. Do you find, um, sorry, just on that LPG, mm -hmm. do you find that there are less and less places that you can get LPG now? We've got two local. Yeah, yeah. They're, One's yeah. motorway, which is expensive, yeah, I think, and the is other it, one is Asda. Is, yeah, I think, Cheap. Yeah. I can't remember what petrol stations stopped doing it. Was it Morrison's? I think they Morrison's used did to, do it. Yeah. Yeah. Morrison's yeah. used to it. Yeah, like. but we've got, our, we've got our, um, an, an Asda near us, which does it now. Um, and then the motorway services. Yeah. 
and amazingly enough it's quite surprising if you go and buy your, your, your sort of seven kilogram uh, colour gas and then you go and fill up from a station the price difference is phenomenal £5.55 yeah it's about five and a half quid to fill ours up wow um, compared wow. to I think oh, I don't know what is, what is an LP what is a seven kilo I, I think days? I paid oh. I think I've paid 28, 29 pounds. Yeah, but some sites it could be 35. Yeah. Some sites you go on to 35. But there was a shortage, wasn't there, of, of Calagas last year. Yeah. You wouldn't know this because you're okay, Jack. <laughs> with the LPG. Well, they've got no stock here. So we're they, no, they didn't have last time no, we were here. Because no, no. we yeah. ran out of one bottle. But um, I think I paid 28 or 29 pounds mm. for a seven kilo. Mm -hmm. And we right. carried two. But it's been so, so lovely speaking to you all today. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you so Thank much for you. giving us the time. And yeah. hopefully people watching this will get some sort of insight, not just Michelle and I's opinion you know it's nice to see here's somebody else's yeah. so thank you very very much very indeed thank you. Yeah. we hope you have a lovely lovely holiday <laughs> and, and uh, a great rest of the year caravanning yeah. and camping thank, thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank thank you. you. Bye -bye. so much all of you, <laughs> thank you. take care now bye bye, bye. <laughs> <Everyone> wave. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a different perspective um, from caravanning and motorhomers and we've got to say a huge huge thank you haven't we to yes to Kath and Stu thank you Kath and Stu and Nick and Karen absolutely and, you know, for, wonderful for letting us go into their vehicles have a look around and their pets as well they yeah. were incredible oh, amazing yes just a little insight into you know two completely different couples not youtubers you know yeah. nothing to do with us it's just their view and really hope that you found it useful absolutely and that on that note on we that shall note. say uh thank you very very much indeed for watching and we'll uh, see you next time take care bye bye, bye now bye bye